Okay, our driver left. Um. What's up, my dudes? It's Demi, and today we are traveling from Orlando International Airport to Disney World for just $2. There is an all new public transportation option to get to Disney from the airport, and I want to check it out today and talk to you all about it so you can see this new option from how to get to the airport to Disney. So let's just get into it. Let's check out this new $2 bus and let's go get into some hijinks. Three important things I want to tell you before we get started. One, the bus is six stops and the last stop is Disney Springs and that's where you will be getting off. It will drop you off on the west side near Cirque du Soleil. Number two, to pick up the bus you have to go to Terminal A. So if you are in Terminal C like I am, you have to transfer over to Terminal A, which we will be doing shortly. And number three, once you get to Disney Springs, you can either Uber, Lyft, or take a Disney bus to get to your resort. However, if you have a rolling bag like this, they are not allowed onto Disney buses. So that is a huge flaw in this public transportation option. If you have a duffel bag or a backpack, you are able to use the Disney bus to get to your resort. Don't exit the video just yet because there is a good reason why you should possibly want to take the public transportation. Depending on time of day, Ubers and Lyfts can be incredibly expensive. Another option is the Mears bus, which is $16 per person. So even if you need to still take an Uber from there, it's going to be around $10 versus $40 to $60 to $80 because you'll already be on property. So to get to Terminal A from Terminal C, before the exit, you're going to take this elevator, head to level four, get off and follow the pathway and the signs to Terminal A and B, head outside, go down the escalator and make sure you're following the signs for A and B, turn left and walk on this pathway under the parking lot, walk inside and hop on the terminal link to A and B. You will also be doing this if you take the Brightline train to MCO and I did a full video on the Brightline and I will link it for you here and put it in the description box below. Exit the terminal link and follow the signs to Terminal A. Head to the right for Terminal A and here we are. Now that you're in Terminal A, here is how to get to the buses. Walk under the big A to the escalators and we're gonna go down two flights of escalators. This is one and then behind the sign, this is two. Exit through the door in front of you and here we are. The the bus route that we are taking is bus route 311 and it's going to be found in spaces 38 through 41 right when you walk outside. And here it is. You can view the bus schedule on the transit app. You can Google 311 bus links and a PDF schedule will come up or you can use Google Maps. You do have to take your luggage onto the actual bus. It does not go underneath the bus. You can either bring $2 worth of quarters like I have in here, or you can download the Lynx Paw Pass and buy a ticket through there. Right. And here we go. Luckily, I like stuck my luggage in this section here so that it's not in anybody's way. It says it should take about an hour. Remember, it's six stops and the last one is Disney Springs. The third stop is Universal Boulevard, and you can get off there and transfer to a different bus and you can go to Universal. If you want me to do a video on how to get to Universal with the buses, let me know in the comments. another one was coming on but nope is he just like going to the bathroom or something what's happening um i've been taking the bus my whole life in new york city and i have never had this happen ever <laughs> what is happening i just spoke to a local and she said this is a normal thing that happens what is happening here in florida oh my gosh he's coming back he literally just like took a bathroom break and this is like a real thing that happens on public transportation here in Orlando. I've just never heard of such a thing. Okay, here we go. Back, back on. What? And here we are. We finally made it to Disney Springs. It took 55 minutes with the bathroom break and we are at stop number four this is the stop you're going to come to for when you take the bus to the airport as well 
if you are using Uber or Lyft, this is where they will pick you up. Just make sure that you put the correct side of Disney Springs. You wanna be picked up on the west side, not the marketplace side. And just so you can see the difference, my Uber was gonna cost me $30 to get to my hotel. From here, it's costing me $8. I wanna quickly mention too, if you are staying at an official Disney hotel, like the Swan and Dolphin or the ones in Disney Springs, this is where their buses drop you off. I would call those hotels to see if it is possible to bring your bags and then you can take those buses to your resort. To get to Disney Springs, walk to the end and you will see the pathway towards Cirque du Soleil. It says Disney Springs entrance this way and just follow the path. And for those of you that have stuck around for this video, you get a little extra bonus that I didn't mention in the beginning because I wasn't 100% sure and I wanted to be sure. If you are staying at Saratoga Springs, you can walk to your resort from here. So it doesn't matter if you have rolling luggage, it's a 10 minute walk from here. Okay, let's talk about the pros and cons of taking the $2 bus. Let's start with the pros. Pros, it's $2. That's fantastic. It was super easy to find. The schedule is very easy to find and very easy to understand. A day like today with no traffic, it only took 56 minutes and that was with an unscheduled stop. If you do not have rolling luggage, you can then easily get onto a Disney bus. So it only did cost you a total of $2 for your trip to Disney from the airport. Pro, if you're staying at Saratoga Springs, you can walk from here with your luggage to Saratoga Springs. I met a couple on the bus and they had a layover and they decided to take the bus to Disney Springs and just spend a few hours here in Disney Springs and then take the bus back to Orlando. So it's an easy and cheap way to spend a layover in Disney. And lastly, you can pay by coins or by an app. So you don't have to pre-plan coins if you don't want to. Let's talk about the cons. It takes an hour to get here without traffic. If you were going during rush hour, it could definitely take another half hour or more on top of it. A huge con for me was it wasn't very cool to begin with on the bus and it's a hot summer day right now. And at the last 10 minutes, from when the bus driver got back on to getting to Disney Springs, there was no air at all. It was awful in there and I really did not appreciate that. Next, if you're traveling with young children, be aware there aren't any seatbelts on this public bus, so you're going to have to hold your child. Obviously the biggest con, you cannot bring rolling luggage onto a Disney bus. And I've seen a bunch of people still right now take their rolling luggage to go. And I have heard people say that they have been able to bring their luggage on. I want you to understand that was at the cast member's discretion. It is in the Disney guidelines. There is no luggage allowed. So please be prepared. You, if you wanna give it a try, go ahead. But I don't recommend it because it's against Disney rules and it's going to probably waste your time to schlep all the way to the buses to then be told no. So please keep that in mind. Another con is holding onto your luggage. Luckily, I was able to find a seat where I can squeeze it in. But if you don't have that little section and most of them don't, your luggage can be rolling around and you're gonna have to hold onto it. And lastly, the fact that bus drivers here take unscheduled breaks is so bizarre to me, a New Yorker who has been taking the bus their entire life. I've taken the buses in New York and New Jersey, and I've never seen anything like that before. So that could add on time to your trip. And as I talk to so many locals, that happens a lot. So be prepared that it could happen to you. So as you can see, a lot of pros, a lot of cons. This is not a perfect system and it's not meant for everyone, but it is meant for some people. I'm really glad that I got to try this bus and and Orlando's public transportation in general. It was a real eye opener. I talked to a lot of people on buses and there are a lot of people that are in Orlando that don't drive and use the public transportation. So I'm super happy to see that as a pro public transportation person from New York. But let me know in the comments, would you take the $2 bus to Disney World? Have you taken the $2 bus to Disney World? What was your experience like? please let me know in the comments below. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss anything that goes on this channel. Follow me on Instagram at Magical Hijinks. Check out the Patreon. Become a patron and get exclusive bonus content, bonus lives. Help with trip planning, a free dining guide to Walt Disney World by Disney for Foodies, and so much more. And you'll be helping me to continue bringing you great content like this to this channel. And until next time, my dudes, I hope you guys get into some hijinks very, very soon. Now go watch my Bright Line to Orlando video. Ha, bye bye